Hey, welcome back and thank you for watching. Uh, I am going to talk about these safety switches on the Massey GC1723 here today. Uh, so if you don't have a Massey though, uh, you probably have a subcompact that has some similar safety switches. Uh, so this still might be worth a quick uh, watch. Uh, I'm also going to give you a quick peek uh, at the leaf uh, cleanup uh, situation, uh, which will be another video later. Uh, so let's jump right in. Okay, so for the Massey GC, you've got three main safety switches that I'm aware of. Maybe I'm missing one you can uh, show to me. Uh, so let's talk about them in order. There's the seat switch, the neutral switch, and the PTO uh, switch. Uh, so let's start with the seat switch. So you've seen this in the past video. The seat switch is pretty simple. It's, and I'll show you it here, it's a lever under the seat. When you sit on the seat, it engages. When you get off the seat, uh, the switch disengages. This is one that a lot of people will push the paddle down or zip tie it down or do something just to disengage uh, that function. And I've talked about why I do that um, in some past videos. And of course, I do re-engage that switch when I'm using uh, the mower, though. So the location of the switch is obvious under the seat, and then the wire for that runs a little to the rear, and it just plugs you know, unplugs, plugs in. So if there's something defective on that switch, you just replace the whole thing. Or if just the paddle broke off and you need new powder, you can buy that as a part too. Then the second switch is the neutral switch. So the neutral switch uh, is connected to the rabbit neutral turtle uh, lever. And what that does is uh, it engages uh, or it makes sure that to start the tractor, you are in neutral or if you are running uh, and you get off the seat and you're in neutral, the tractor will stay running. But if it's running, the engine's running and you get off the seat and the tractor's in turtle or rabbit, the engine will shut off. So that's uh, that switch. Now, as far as getting to that switch, you can see it's pretty easy as far as you know, finding the location of it. However, the wiring harness for that run routes under Inside there, I'm not sure how you get that harness. I don't know, maybe when you pull the switch off, maybe that whole harness will kind of pull out and not, there's enough slack there. I'm not touching mine to find out. If you've replaced that switch, post in the comments and let us know how easy it is to connect or disconnect uh, that connector. And then the third switch is the PTO clutch switch. Uh, some people call this the micro switch. Uh, this is in the uh, manual. It's called the limit switch. So what this does is make sure that if you get off the seat while the engine is running and the one or both of the PTO shafts are engaged, the engine will shut off. So let me say you know, what, that, what that means. That means the gears are engaged and the clutch is engaged. That seems to be the way this works. So listen here real quick. I'm going to move the clutch handle. Now listen to the, to the audio here. You'll hear that switch click. Okay, so that would be one way to test that. So a lot of people will say, oh, I was mowing today and I got off and stopped and then the tractor wouldn't restart. They'll say, you know, the clutch isn't, handle is not engaged, it still won't start. Uh, you gotta get in there, under there, maybe tap your finger on that switch a couple times. Because uh, that little paddle, and I'll try to get a picture up here, uh, needs to get pushed down. And then the switch, uh, that paddle pushes against the switch. So I think what's happening is crud's getting in there between that paddle and the actual switch button. Or maybe you've been mowing and crud gets in there after you started mowing and there's no room for the switch to uh, come back up. So you got to keep that cleaned out uh, or else you're going to have a problem. Your tractor's going to be stuck out in the field. All right, so I see these posts all the time, so I figured I'd do the a bunch this weekend as well. Uh, so I figured I'd do this quick video and kind of show you. I couldn't even find the limit switch at first, uh, or the micro switch, uh, and I couldn't find it in the parts manual either. And then it turned out, it, you know, it's called a limit limit switch. Um, so hopefully this helps. Uh, now switching gears here, switching gears. You like that? Uh, to the leaf cleanup, uh, we're still uh, pretty. Uh, early at this point in in leaf uh, falling uh, for the year, uh, but I did do a cleanup uh, the other day just in the backyard to test out the Massey. And I'll put a little speed uh, speed up video of that here uh, now. But I'm kind of upset actually that 
no one in the comments of any of my previous mower videos said anything about the 60 inch side discharge mower deck being a mulching deck because that is basically what this deck deck did it chewed through everything uh that was down now the leaves do get a little thicker around here a little bit later so we'll see uh but it chewed through it and basically mulched it down to nothing uh so i didn't there was basically no cleanup so i was pretty darn impressed uh with the capacity handling capability of the deck and really just the, the, the fact of how much it really just chopped up the leaves. Now, full disclosure, super dry out here, ideal conditions for chopping them up fine, but it was, it was pretty impressive. So we'll do a full video, uh, or I'll do a full video here uh, later. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep this short, and I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, or if your tractor's stuck out in the field and you don't know what to do, hopefully this helps. We'll post down in the comments. Uh, I'll reply if I can help, or maybe someone else will see your uh, comment quickly and can help you out. So as always, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one.